Yeah, Casey Bloom has drawn a paddlefish tag, and he's going to hunt with our good friend Marlon Weeblehouse to try to help fill it. You're feeling it? Oh, yeah. You gotta hunt with the faith. I hunt with the faith a lot. I think we're gonna do all right. A little caffeine and a little faith goes a long ways. Yeah. See, right there. Hey, hey, hey. Got him? Yeah, you know how to loosen the drag? Wait, let me get another arrow in him. Right. Oh boy, Marlon, nice shot. Ah. He was pretty much laying right on top of the water, wasn't he? Came he came up nice. Oh, you know, finally I hit one. Big fish, too. Are you ready to get him? I guess I'm in curve. Yeah, you're right under the... You got him in the uh, You shot him right through the good stuff. I got a leather glove I should have on this thing to cut you. That's all right. Just get him to the side of the boat. Just get him to the side of the boat. Right. And then grab my paddle. Yep. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what I say. Afraid to hang out of that line too tight, you know? Yeah, just getting by the paddle or the tail, either one. You can get down so I don't go in. I guess that works too, doesn't it? Well, Marlon, I can't thank you enough for your patience. Yes. That has been a long day. I mean, it's been fun all day other than the frustration. I had a lot of good chances and I just, for whatever reason, couldn't hit them. <laughs> this is my second day trying with Marlon and the first day, uh, my good friend and rep brother Drex, John Drexel from up in Moorhead, got a nice fish, and and shortly thereafter, he uh, the weather turned ugly and the waves got big and nasty, and and uh, I, <laughs> I rode on the front of that boy. I felt like surfing USA. Boom, boom, soaking wet, rained and wind. We tried, and then I opted to stay another day and uh, and go out with Marlin again. We got bright sun. And, Thank you, sir. Beautiful day. Couldn't ask for much better. Because the water, even in the clearest spot, you can only see about two feet, you say. With, and that's the clearest spot. So the fish are down there, and what we end up doing is going into these holes of the boat, and basically they're, they're right under the boat. So they come shooting out. No, and, and by the time, you know, you don't have eyes on them, you see them. Oh, and then it's just a quick snapshot, and that's why, you know, I'm shooting a recurve, and I always shoot a recurve. That's the other frustrating. It isn't like I just picked it up. It looks like I just picked it up. How's that look? Looks good. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs>